Manatee County couple is alive today thanks to the quick thinking of an off-duty sheriff's deputy. Neil and Claudia Cook say he is their angel. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascareñas has that story of faith and heroism. The burnt grass and oil is what's left of a terrifying Sunday afternoon for Neil and Claudia Cook. This is the scariest thing that's ever happened to me and though I knew the Lord would take care of us. He did. His name is Willie Finkley, an off-duty Manatee County Sheriff's deputy and assistant minister at his church. I believe that my wife and I were agents of God at that point to be at that location at that time because uh, that's not our usual route. We rarely go that way. The Cooks were headed to Orlando to visit their grandchildren and around 2 o'clock got off I-75 at Wallow Moccasin Road looking for a scenic route. The Cooks say a warning light came on about the car's electrical charging system and soon more lights turned on. They turned around and headed back for the interstate, but soon a bad situation quickly grew worse. As soon as I pulled over, Claudia says there's smoke coming out from under the hood and I said get out of the car. She, and she and she said, I can't get out of the car, and that's when I checked my buttons and handle and everything, and we were locked in the car. And I, so I dialed 911, and we were giving them information while I was getting my pocket knife out and trying to break that windshield. At the same time, the motorcycle deputy and his wife drove by on his bike, headed home from church. There was some panic. Um, I saw Mr. Cook, he was banging on the window with his cane, and, and his wife was uh, really hysterical. All Finkley had with him was his off-duty gun. Then I had to use my off-duty weapon to uh, put a hole in the back glass and kick the window in so that I could unlock the door from the inside. Claudia was pulled out the back seat and Neil climbed out on his own. Neither were hurt. put himself in danger. I kept thinking that car was going to blow up any second. He did not hesitate to help us. He was a human being that was kind and I know it's his job, but I feel like it was his nature too. We're so grateful. Yeah, but Deputy Finkley says he's the grateful one. It seems like you gave them life. What did they give you? Just being used by God to help someone in their most desperate time, that's a gift for me. In Manatee County, Isabel Mascareñas, wow. 10 News. Wow. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. He has a great smile, too. Did you notice that? He's got some that good friendly office, face. Good officers on the street. Absolutely. The cooks say when they return to Manatee County from Orlando, they're going to take Deputy Finkley and his wife out to dinner. <laughs> At least they could do, right? The yep. couple says while the deputy saved their lives, there were several other good Samaritans who also stopped to help them, and they thanked them as well. Wow.